Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today, I am going to be installing a Megan Race Spec Strut Tower Bar, or Brace, whichever you prefer, on my 2016 Mazda CX-5. Now, when I bought the car new in 2016, I looked all over the internet and tried to find performance parts, upgrades, or uh, accessories to try to, you know, enhance the performance of the vehicle. Now, granted, I didn't expect to find much in the way of performance parts since it is a small SUV. Uh, I didn't think I'd find too much. But I did come across this Megan Ray Spec uh, strut tower bar. I even came across some Coney shocks that are available for this car and stumbled upon a catback exhaust by a manufacturer called Racing Beat. They specialize in Mazda parts, Mazda performance parts uh, for vehicles like the RX-7, the RX-8, the Mazda 6, the CX-3, and the CX-5 you see here. So I thought I'd give this one a shot, this Megan Race Spec. Um, I don't know anything about the brand. I do know that brands like DC Sports, they don't make a strut tower bar for this vehicle. So I thought I'd just try this out and uh, install it and see if I can tell any improvements uh, in the handling. And uh, so if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have the passenger side strut location uh, that shows the three bolts that hold the strut assembly to the frame of the car. Now I've done some research and I found that you cannot use these OEM bolts because they're only threaded on the very top portion of that bolt. They're not threaded all the way down. So it's going to become a fitment issue if you try to reuse these OEM bolts with the strut bar. So what I've done, and I think is following the recommendations of other videos I've seen, you're going to have to purchase a new set of bolts, and I went ahead and got flat washers and lock washers to lock down the assembly uh, after I install it. I went ahead and pre-loosened the bolt, and I'll just show you uh, the combination that I'm going to go with. So I pre-loosened the bolt, make it easier. And you can see that the bottom part of the bolt does have a washer. It's kind of one piece. So, but it's only threaded the very top portion. It's not threaded all the way down to the bottom. So it's not going to sit all the way down. So what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and got a lock washer, a flat washer, and a new bolt. And that will allow you to tighten it all the way down onto the bracket and make sure that it's held in place. Also, from what I understand, it's easier to take apart or disassemble the, the mounting brackets from the strut bar and install the mounting brackets first on both sides, then come back and reattach the strut brace to the mounting brackets. From what I understand, that's the best way to do it, uh, hassle-free, and that's what I'm going to attempt. So let's take a look at that. After opening the package and unwrapping the strut bar, I gotta say guys, I was pretty impressed with the quality and the construction of the parts included. Um, specifically, the mounting brackets appear to be of, of fairly good quality. It measures out to be about an eighth inch thick steel and the welds on the uh, the brackets are really nice um, and compared to other manufacturers i've seen out there they have what can be described as a crescent shaped a crescent moon shaped bracket and it doesn't completely cover the entire surface of the, the mounting surface on the car but i'll show you these and i hope you can catch it on the camera and i i can display it properly but i think these are pretty nice they appear to be a powder coat finish and more on the dark gray side not black but dark gray and the fitment is really nice i will say that they um they welded on these little what looks like little cups and it raises the bracket off of the mounting surface so i don't know if that was an aesthetic thing or there was a fitment issue and to make this part you know for multiple models uh, they did that i'm not sure quite what the idea was and i wish they would have included the weld uh, and did the weld all the way around that little cup and again I'll show you here uh, in just a second what I'm talking about so here's the bracket and as you can see it's one solid piece and it completely covers the mounting surface where it's gonna go so I was pretty impressed with that 
Uh, it is one solid piece with the exception of one bend here that they did and then they welded on this additional uh, support piece. But as I said, they, they placed these mounting cups, I don't know a better term to use, but they only kind of spot welded it in three places. I wish they would have just welded it completely around uh, for better structure support. But like I said, the, the bracket itself was quite impressive and the strut bar, the entire piece looked, looked very nice. Now guys, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty simple installation. It's a matter of just undoing three nuts, mounting the bracket, and putting three nuts back on. Now that's about it. So one thing I didn't mention at the beginning of the video are some of the tools you're going to need and basic, they're basic tools that any, any guy should have in their garage. Um, you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket or a combination wrench to take off the original nuts off the car. You're going to need an 8 millimeter hex key to undo the brace from the support brackets. There's a hex nut on this side and then just a regular nut on this side. So you're going to need an 8 millimeter hex key for that. And then in my case, the nuts that I use to replace these, I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket for that. So it's pretty straightforward. I did, I went ahead and looked at the instructions. I know what you're probably thinking, who needs instructions? But I wanted to confirm what, what I've read and what I've seen. And the instructions do recommend that you take apart the mounting brackets from the strut bar, you mount the support brackets on each side first, then reattach the strut bar to where it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the, for the sake of time I already installed the driver side bracket and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one on real quick and, and show you what that looks like but again it's a pretty simple thing here is the finished installation of the Megan Racing strut tower bar for my vehicle I have to say I'm very pleased with it. Um, it's a simple installation, it's a great looking product. I like the way that the, uh, the strut bar kind of follows the contour of the rubber seal at the top of the engine compartment. Overall very pleased with it. Um, I was also very pleased to see that Megan Racing also makes a set of coilovers for this car. I did take the car on a test drive both before and after the installation and I will say that there is a noticeable difference. Not a huge difference but it's definitely better. The car feels, the front end feels a lot tighter, so that made for driving fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I welcome any questions or comments, and thanks for watching.